the subheadline is says uh, Cartesi is a modular, powerful modular blockchain protocol that equips developers with access to a full Linux environment and high performance rollups designed to support next generation apps. And so you're positioning Cartesi as a modular blockchain. So it's not an L2. It's it's an L1 on which L2s could be built. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. So that, that that is a bit confusing. Uh, and okay. It's good to have this feedback. What we mean by modular uh, blockchain protocol is that there are a lot of problems to be solved in the industry, right? You have like data availability problems, you have consensus problems, you have execution problems, you have uh, UX problems, uh, liquidity problems, and so on. We're focused on solving the execution problem, right? Mm. So we are an execution environment and it's a, a modular execution environment because you can run it in many different ways. So you can run it as an L2 on top of Ethereum. You can run it as L, an L3 on top of, say, ZK Sync or Arbitrum. Or you can you, you could run it as a layer one, but uh, that requires a lot of other pieces such as consensus and so on. But we usually run Cartesi as a, a nap chain roller or a nap chain layer three. And we also have a coprocessors going on. It's it's a new initiative that we started. So Cartesi coprocessors on top of Eigen layer. So that's why we use the word, word modular. But if you should think of Cartesi as an execution environment that can be plugged in into many different protocols. So when you think of these like roll up as a service providers, RAS providers, is Cartesi one of the options if I wanted to build an app chain or a roll up? Could I choose to build it on, on Cartesi using one of these RAS providers? I don't think we're integrated with RAS providers yet, but you could launch a Cartesi app chain, app chain and you just deploy it and, and there's a, a, a service provider called Sunodo that is Cartesi specific and it can run your validator node for you and so on if you don't want to run the infrastructure yourself. I see. But you also have, a, have the, what I believe is the main setup at least for the very paranoid users, which is that you are always able to run the application that you're interacting with on your machine. So you can secure, mm -hmm. make sure that it's running securely. 